Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to a slightly different version of The Lies of P than we were playing before. Aaron, please explain. Say file just vanished into the ether. We don't know if we could have recovered it. We kind of screwed up our chance at that. And then Robert spent two hours catching up to the four-hour recording session. I do not have any crescent moonstone. I didn't think I had any last time either. So things might be slightly different. He might have accidentally picked things up he didn't before. And he might have oh, missed know. things he didn't before. Welcome to the house of Benini. But uh, and he for has, the most part, we should be caught back up. And he has two stats higher than before. I don't remember this guy being here last time. He was. He just didn't hear on and talking to him. I believe you'll find all items to be both superior quality and distinguished provenance. His story were I am important. certain you will be able to find something that suits you, sir. At the house of Anini, even priceless things have a price. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior <coughs> provenance. All right, before I continue what I say, I want to point something out. He wasn't here before. He is now. He is machine. How did he get in the hotel? Oh, he was brought here by Vanini. He's Vanini's butler puppet. So puppets can get in if they have a human escort? My guess is, yes. Well, then why couldn't one of the humans just come outside and let us in? Probably because they didn't know they could trust us or not. Okay, so she I... wants us in. She told us to lie to get in. She could have walked to the front door and let us in. Mm, yeah. Uh, anyway. There might be a reason why she didn't. There might be a story important reason why she didn't. Well, one of the other humans in here could have. They probably didn't know we were here. All right, so we have Pierce, Strike, and Slash. I'm going to buy all of these. Okay, so we have Cranks, which you talked about kind of yeah they're basically for altering your handles uh your handles uh weapon scaling there's something important you haven't mentioned my by eyes way. do not deceive me i never imagined i'd actually see it again and in the flesh so to speak i just designed it set it aside and never got back to it he's talking about like buying video games and not playing them quite preoccupied i'm afraid <laughs> You are really interested in the arm, I see. Then, my friend, you shall have it. It just needs a few mechanical adjustments to fit your um, particular needs. And frankly, this design is almost child's play to me now, so let's start by making it a bit stronger, shall we? I will also add what we brilliant inventors call modularity. That means it will be much easier to improve and repair since you'll be able to use commonly found parts. You might say this arm's new abilities are... Uh, legion! <laughs> no? Too much? It was too much. I always welcome friends. May I be of service? This character's legit, but he just seems so damn shady like a snake oil salesman. Indeed. But first, switch to fire grindstone. And talk. Wait, why do you have the other one? Curious. I bought it from Polchinella. Yeah, Weren't you paying attention? No. Thanks to you. <laughs> In a small way. Mostly it was me, but, uh, you know, genius never rests. Except for beauty rest. <laughs> oh my God. Polchinella isn't just my butler. He's my family. The only one I have left, really. He's basically like I your dad. I won't forget what you've done for us. If you ever need anything or... Find yourself in a spot of trouble. Call on your friend Venini. All right, Robert. Something important you're forgetting to tell him. What's that? I don't know. I you look a bit stronger than friends. before. I already mentioned Maybe that. Oh, you did? Yeah. Fuck, I didn't hear it. I mentioned he has two stats stronger no than one. before. Not mm. even I know what started the puppet frenzy. Why? That day of all days. Yeah. It was horrible. A violent rampage of murder and mayhem that is seared into my memory for all time. And it was never supposed to happen again. I made sure of it. Designed a few special parts to ensure they'd remain loyal. Puppet armies do not arise by chance. There was intent behind this. I don't want to leap to conclusions, but... The only one I know with that kind of power is the king of puppets himself. I... We... need to learn how this happened. So much talking. 
Yep, well, that's what happens uh, in a game like this. So, did you play the record? Yes. Uh, did you mention that? that? No, we did forget to mention that. You think it's a tram for crickets? This time it actually worked, though, and we got the humanity point. You know, you totally should have started the episode by getting the point. I come to you with it's all right. the most peaceful intentions, and as a true friend of class. Behold, Venini Ward, where we will honor the city of class history while... You know what I like about this? Some. It actually does look like the outside of the factory. Yeah. We well, duh, like it's supposed to. Okay, so this over here. Oh. From here, we can switch Legion Arm. We can craft the new Legion Arm, which is awesome. Flamberge. We have to give up the King's Flame Soul, I believe. Oh, which is. Okay. So this is what you use the Ball Souls for? <laughs> and now we have a Legion Caliber. Alright, can we make this? No, I do not have that. I need a Legion Plug. I want to make this weapon. It's a cannon arm. Oh, so you can rocket punch. Bitches love cannons. Rocket punch! I think you can upgrade these weapons to have all kinds of different abilities and skills. Let's switch my legion arm. Now that we have it, we now have a flamethrower in our arm. Oh, nice. We may have done that last time, I don't remember. No, we didn't get this far. Nope. We are in new territory. We'll go show it off. I mean, I could, I guess. You should. Oh, we you should also mention what weapon you've been using. Oh, yeah. He was using the DLC weapon. I mean, why not? We just needed to get caught back up, and it's a very strong starting weapon. Yeah. It's actually weaker than the weapon I'm currently using. Yep. Once yeah, but this has been upgraded a lot, and it has not been upgraded at all. Remember, it was free, but it's still a boss weapon. Yeah. It, it uses the boss weapon upgrade materials and upgrades heavily compared to normal weapons. Okay, so up next, do I have a quartz? I do not know. Do you have anything them. new to sell? Oh yeah, his uh, quartz, his P organ upgrades might also be different. Oh, the we've had this conversation before, I believe. The, yes. the sweet store. That is what. Did you talk to the old lady a lot too? I may have... No, I think I did, actually. I think I have all of our conversations. What's that on the table? Probably something I missed getting the first time. Yeah, it's the landmark guide that we've already read. Okay. People have no idea. Thanks for keeping. Yep, we've already talked to her. I do remember there being one time where you accidentally skipped her dialogue, though. Hey, cat. Meow, meow. You don't like me. But but you have humanity now. Yeah, I need you a light and everything. I'm going to need a little bit more humanity than that. Also, it's about time we got moving. Yes, yes. where are we going? But first... Sophia. Upgrade again? Sophia, mm -hmm. shove upgrades down my throat. Kinky. Talk. Oh, hey, you didn't these watch are all these. things I already did. Just a second, I'm going to skip through these. Because I want new conversations to actually show up. Ask for something else. I'll use my power to... Yeah, I could have just gone back to level up screen from there. I wasn't thinking. Alright, as you can see, we're at 17 and 17. Where before, we're at 16. And 16. Uh, I could use a boost to my stamina. How about vitality? 
Yeah, this looks good. And now we're even more stronger. It's way stronger than before. All right, onwards. Also, we got the wrench last time. We don't have it right now. So I'll have to re-pick that up. Why didn't you get it? Because I forgot. Also, now from this screen, we can switch the grindstone. Making talking to Vanini not as useful. Something else we forgot to mention. As soon as he got caught back up, we restarted the console to see if the save would stay. And it disappeared again! So we restarted again and it came back. This game is... This game hates us, guys. I really hate I, yeah. I want to I wanna make this clear. I did not have this problem with my PS5 at all. So I don't know what's causing this. Mine hates you. I think the first one was a patch. At least... It's it, it, at least we got it back, and hopefully it doesn't go poof again in the future. But we know what to try. Yeah, as long as we don't go past the language selection, it won't create a new save file. So we should be able to recover the old one. If only we knew that the first time around. Yeah. We Ooh. wouldn't have had to play two hours of catch-up. We could have gotten four more episodes. <coughs> Probably. Yeah. Fire canister. Gee, I wonder what the upcoming enemies are weak against. Electricity, duh. They're in water, of course. Hey, puppets. Can't quite two shot them. How about heavy attack? Well, the heavy attack takes longer. Generally speaking, you don't want to waste the heavy attack. Use it when you can, but don't rely on it like I used to do the Zweihander in Dark Souls 1. I like to keep my uh, material. I like to keep my uh, durability topped up. You know, when I first played Dark Souls and I found those Y hander in the graveyard, and like when I started playing, I was like, I want to use this sword. But then I pre proceeded to never use that sword. It is my favorite sword for a Souls one. It was my first sword that I ever used for a playthrough. I usually use S Dog for most of my playthrough because it fits my play style. You can get it right off the bat. Well, I said the Flamberge was my... F or not the Flamberge, but the Zweihander was my first uh, actual weapon that I used. But then I switched to the Claymore for subsequent playthroughs. You love that Claymore, for good reason. It's a very balanced greatsword. Good for thrusting and slashing enemies. I typically use Flamberge in uh, Demon Souls. I use Claymore until I get to the Flamberge, and then I use the Flamberge. It's the nice thing about... Uh... About the Soul series, there's not really a bad weapon. I've only done a Sorcerer build in Dark Souls the one time, but with the Sorcerer build, I like the uh, Moonlight Butterfly Spear, whatever it was called, and of course the Moonlight Greatsword. Those Which, are my two weapons of choice. I did not pick this up build. last time. Ow, that hurts. I don't think you made it this far last time. No, because something up here is something that I actually have. Oh. <clears throat> he did come into this room, but not very far, and then immediately fucked off back to Hotel Crot. For good reason. Because I was out of time for the episode. Right. That would be the good reason. Ah, oh, hello there. Because in here... ...is a very powerful strength weapon. Right, the that's what you meant by wrench. Giant I have, pipe wrench. I forgore because it's been a couple of weeks. Just as a uh, reminder to weeks. everyone. It's a big damn wrench. It's been like, what, a month Ooh, and you should drop attack that guy. Well, now he notices you when he's coming over here. Ooh, what about that guy? Uh, I think it's fa too far. No, try it. Just go over there and try it. Beach. I don't want fall damage. It's not going to give you fall damage. Especially with the enemies that are around here. Oh, he's gone. Did he walk towards you? I probably, I'm pretty sure they're patrolling. I can tell you you're not going to get fall damage because I drop attack here constantly. That is too short for fall damage, Robert. It's this okay. isn't Dark Souls. Swing. Miss. Wow. Ow! You're amazing at this. But you killed him. How did it blow up after my swing had already registered? Uh, you set it off, and then a timer ticked down, and then it went boom. Well, that was cool. Dang, I am just barely not killing these guys. So You're weird. You're taking a lot of hits, too. 
Yeah, Robert. Come also, on, man. Also, don't get surprised now. Positively shocking. <clears throat> Be funny if there was another one there. I mean, Dark Moon, Moonstone, and the Covenant. <coughs> Isn't that what we need for the DLC weapon, too? I don't remember. Oh, hey, look who it is. It's another one of you. It's a flamey flame guy. You think he's weak to fire? <laughs> nope. Maybe you should have kept your fullness arm until you got to the next area. That's yeah, fine. This guy's actually not that hard. Now he's dead. No, I think he lives this. But not this. Don't get greedy. Oh, you got him. Now this is a good amulet. I am no longer encumbered. Ooh. So it raises your encumbrance? This is basically Havel the yeah. Rock Johnson. I was about to say, is that Havel's ring you just got? <laughs> Havel's been good. Amulet. Can't you walk while doing that? You can, but it's really slow. So, still would have gotten more uh, more movement. Moonlight Town. This is a new area. The name like Moonlight Town, you expect <coughs> it to be beautiful. Or out in the night sky. Eyes. Could they be from Moonlight Town? Whoa, did puppets do this? I bet it was beautiful once upon a time. See that up there? Mm hmm That's where we're going. Oh, boy. Is that the cathedral? Yep. You don't have a head. How do you see us? Dang it. I pressed the button. I have been... Uh-oh. I forgot to rest at the Stargazer. Hey, at least you're light literally next to it. I'm irritated because I forgot to rest at the Stargazer, guys. Now, if you somehow fell and not get your ergo... I'm going to laugh at you so damn hard. It's not like I'm going to lose anything. I got like what? 3,000. 3, Never mind. That's a significant amount. That's almost 4,000. That's like another level. And I got there. it back. And you got immediately skewered. I Lost over the, half your health. I hit the attack button instead of the block button. Now he's going to go rest. I don't blame him. <laughs> and then he's going to go up and try to get revenge and get hit again. It's okay. How much is it to level up now? Don't know. Probably around 4k. Hooray, he didn't fuck up. But he also fucked up the backstab. Man, oh. I love that sound. The mechanical rearing. Yeah. Bouncing off of walls. Can't get, by my Can't get back there. Yeah, you can. Just gotta go the other way. Ow. Oh, dude on the roof is throwing shit at you. Kill everybody and then roll in here. No. I said no. No means no. Throwing shit at me, that's no good. But he stopped throwing shit because he went after you. Uh oh. Oh, the physics of watching someone continue to run when their weapon should be stuck in the wall. <clears throat> so many of them have no head. How the fuck do they know where you are? Your question is a good one, and I can't answer it. That bridge seems suspicious. You're bad, and you should feel bad. This bridge is, suspic is suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh, 
game tried to kill me by targeting the wrong person. It's like, These look, aren't people. You've been a lot. You've been a lot. Right, so that's long. the correct <coughs> way. I'm going this way. More stuff. You must go the wrong way first. Use the dragon balls too often. Speaking of uh, those barrels, just Team Four Star has started doing a watch through of GT. Poor Lanny. Oh, Crescent, Crescent Moonstone. Moonstone. That's the next upgrade material. Oh, nice. I guess we Moonlight Town next guy. Stargazer, time to upgrade. Moonlight Town is the lowest place in the city, where pilgrims prepare for their journeys. Since Saint Frangelico met the one-winged angel and founded the church, Moonlight Town has become known as a place where pilgrims are led to the cathedral by bully and prepare for their pilgrimages. Adrenus' reputation was at its peak when he was appointed as a priest. At the time, Kraut was only a poor country town, but Andreas didn't mind and devoted himself to taking care of the people. They were even saying that St. Frangelico himself had returned. Moonlight Town actively helped the priest's good deeds and always acted together as colleagues to deliver the word of God. The decision to accept the alchemist from outside and revive Krat was made in Moonlight Town. After all, it was the birthplace of the Krat we know today. Today, we have cable railways instead of bullies in the city of the future instead of a country village. But our virtues remain unchanged. Just like how the angel wrapped St. Frangelico in his wings when he fell in the cold, People should help each other. The place lower than any other, Moonlight Town, is proof that virtue is still here. Well, Moonlight Town is ruined, so what virtue? Yeah. Oh wow, another one? Ha! Ow, still got it. Was it worth it though? Yes. yes. I'll regrow part of my spine later. Also, this is where you would have fallen if the bridge had yep. collapsed. I was about to say that. Oh. Also, it would have hurt. Also, there's enemies ahead. You should go murder them. I dropped down here from above. Oh, I thought I saw enemies. I think you have to drop down here to get one of the items. Which means it's time to go back. Alright. Time to jump the gap. I'm gonna pop a heal. I thought you fell in for a second, but then you mid-air jumped. It was a very last second frame-perfect input. Don't get used to this. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, to wall clip you have to be frame-perfect. You don't have to drop down. Huh. Just okay. be careful you don't up in the back rooms. Oh no. Yeah, please don't. Well, well, well. Jump again! There's a well. What about it? You seem well. What about the vouchers? Oh, good lord, this house. I remember this house. I hate this house. I hate this house, too. I am probably going to hate this house. Let's find out. I'm going to cheat. Zula watched me hate this house. Get over here! I use the, uh, the get over here arm. I forgot what it's called. He doesn't look like he wants to get over here very much. It's alright, I'll just lure the other ones out. You have no head. How do you see? Quit throwing shit at me. Ow! You almost stepped foot in that house. Whatever you do, do not step foot in the house. I'm guessing they... Well, that should have hurt him. They, yeah, seriously, come on. <laughs> I'm okay, guessing I think I've gotten rid of most of the dangerous things in there. Uh, what was that sound? Oh. That was the sound of uh, you getting locked in with a gank squad. Yeah, if you don't take care of those guys, you will be trapped in here with five enemies. Mm. Six enemies. Ladies and gentlemen, why I hate this house. There's two assholes that throw stuff at you, two assholes with pitchforks that try to ram you to death, 
And then two more assholes that I don't remember what their weapons are. Look like one more was a pitchfork. Resistance converter. For corrosion? Gee, I wonder if we're going to run into corrosion soon. We, we've already run into corrosion. Alright. And what is our reward I'm for this house? I'm going to open up... Well, the corrosion converter was the reward. It is a saw blade. Alright, in the next episode, I will continue onward. We actually don't have that much further to go. Uh, to get to the point that we need to get to, to start heading towards the cathedral. We're still nowhere near the cathedral. It's up there. Anyway, digression aside, see you next time. Bye, everybody.